Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today for a review that I've been meaning to do for a while and have been sort of putting off. Uh, it is for the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipsticks. So these were released uh, December and um, if you follow my other channel, which is beauty news that I do with my friend Hayley, um, we bought one of each to do arm and lip swatches. So we did a whole video um, where we had two skin types um, swatched on the arms and then also did lip swatches. I will insert that footage later on in this review so you can see all the shades. Um, but the reason we decided to do that was we were looking at the releases, we wanted to buy a few, and then I sort of realized that the ones I wanted were different from the ones that she wanted, and we both were like trying to narrow down four or five each. We're like, oh, the colors are so great. I want this, I want that. So we're just like, bugger it. There's 14 shades. We want like four or five each or more. So let's just buy all 14 and then do a swatch video and then split the shades. So we did do that. Um, but what we also did was when we were doing the swatch video, we're like, oh my God, that shade's so beautiful. We're gonna have to fight for it. So let's just go back and buy some double ups of ones that we particularly both really loved. So we ended up with like a bunch of these lipsticks each, right? And they do swatch beautifully. The colors are gorgeous. Um, and oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So it was only really when we started using them that I started realizing that I don't love the formula too much. So I've got a whole bunch of them and um, I love the colors and the colors are beautiful. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'll do a comprehensive review. I'll tell you guys exactly what I feel about them. And then it just got to a point where I'm like, I actually don't really enjoy using these. And I thought I would do this review anyway, like three months later, because I think that feeling is worth talking about. Anyway, let's give some basic information. Like I said, there's 14 shades. Um, they only contain one point, wait, what is it? 1.7 grams of product in each lipstick, which is roughly about half of what you'd get in like a MAC lipstick or an Urban Decay lipstick. So those standard sort of bigger bullet lipsticks, you get around half, which is, yeah, in itself, it's not that big a deal because often it's quality over quantity. Um, and these in Australia retail for $28 each. We did have a discount code, so we got them a bit cheaper, thank God. And in the US, they're $18 each. So 14 shades, $18 each in the US, 28 in Australia, and 1.7 grams of product. So that's the box that it comes in. It's just a black box with sort of like graffiti looking design on it, nothing too special. And the packaging itself is this sort of like a uh, metal finish, very, very shiny, almost, it's not a rose gold, it's almost like a light mauvey pink silver. You can also see that sort of color when you open it up, it's that sort of light nudey pink color. This one hasn't actually been used yet. I sort of wanted to, I've tried this shade before, but not this exact one. This was a double up that we bought. Um, I wanted to show you what it looks like on the bullet. So you get an FB, but that wears off pretty much in the first uh, use. And that is how much product you get for your 28 Australian dollars, 18 US dollars. Now we did do a makeup breakup video on this particular shade, not this one, but another one. Um, and we, I can confirm that you get about, I think it's about 1.6 grams of product in that sort of usable section. So uh, a lot of lipsticks will say it's got three grams of product, four grams of product, but in the actual usable section that you apply to your lips, you might only be getting two thirds of that um, and the rest you have to actually dig into the packaging to use. So it's a little bit deceiving. This one is almost the full amount of product in that actual um, top part, uh, which is quite good. So you do get what you sort of pay for. A few people have asked as well if this is metal. It's not, it's a, like a, um, it's like a cheap sort of plastic with a sort of metallic paint or coating on it. So they look kind of cool, but they do feel a little bit, I don't know, for the price, they're a little bit flimsy. Now I'm just gonna insert the swatch video that we created back in December so you can see all the shades, see what they look like on the lips. Um, and yeah, let's have a look.
All right, so I am wearing one of these lipsticks right now. I've had this on for a little while. This is in the shade Single, so it is more of a peachy nude. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I can... I find this very hard to review. So I don't love these, and I, I think it's the formula because I think the shades are really gorgeous. Some of my favorite shades are these ones here. So we have um, Freckle Fiesta is that sort of orangey one. Um, then we've got Spanked, which is more of that mauve one next to it. We've got Matte Dam, uh, which is the red. That one is a slightly different formula to the other ones. It's more matte. And then I've got probably my favorite shade here, which is called Candy Venom. Um, and it's probably the one that I would recommend to people because it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm surprised at how much I love that and how much I actually wear that. Fuck it, I'm going to put Candy Venom on now to show you how beautiful it is. Okay, before I do take this off and apply a couple other ones to show you ones that I really do like or um, to make a point of some of them, um, I think the problem that I have with these is I don't like the formula. They apply very nicely and they look nice when you first put them on. They look quite creamy. They don't look super matte. I would say that this is like a cream finish. This has settled down a little bit because I've been talking a lot. When you first put it on, it's more of a cream formula rather than a matte formula. Maybe with the exception of Madame, which is more of a drier matte uh, kind of consistency. That's a beautiful red. It's really, really flattering and gorgeous. But I find that the like the texture of these lipsticks I don't love. So they're more of a moussey, dry formula um, compared to a creamy formula that sort of sets, if that makes sense. These have been on my hand for a while and they are very sort of, they're very smeary. They're just very smeary. You know, just, just a light rub and they just sort of like, off they go. And they are that type of thing where you'll find that you've touched your face and you've just smeared it everywhere. So I just don't think these sit as much as I would like from a lipstick. And there's going to be people out there that say, yeah, don't, you don't smear your lipstick like that. Of course, if you're going to touch your lipstick a lot, um, they're going to smear. And that's, that's definitely true. But I do find that there are uh, lipsticks out there, especially matte lipsticks that are sort of a lot more budge proof and you put them on your lips and you're not so concerned about accidentally like knocking your lip or coffee cups making you have that little smile line because they just like grip to your lips a little bit better. So um, yeah, I, I find that these look cool but they're sort of high maintenance mattes and I just don't have time for them. I also want to show you what this one looks like after it's been on for a while because it does end up being one of those matte lipsticks. It happens more with liquid lipsticks where they sort of gather and start looking a little bit crusty. All right, so I've had this one on for maybe an hour and a half-ish and you can see that it's starting to get that sort of crusty vibe from it and that's not common for creamy lipsticks. So yeah, I'm a little bit confused by these. I think they look cool when you first put them on, but just, you know, normal talking or eating or drinking, these end up looking bad very quickly. They also feel quite dry. Like they feel like they've sucked a bit of life out of my lips, which is not good. Oh, before I actually put on one that I really like to demonstrate, I want to show you the one that I hate the most. Um, and the one that I am very tempted to just throw out because it's not good. It's this orange one here. It's a beautiful, bright orange shade. I love orange lips. This one's in the shade Saucy. And um, it's cool in theory, but you can see that it's definitely more of a yellow based orange than maybe a red toned orange. So what I mean by that is if you sort of blend it out, you can see more yellow than um, any other sort of color. So it's very, very yellow. Now, the problem with these sort of lipsticks is that they make your teeth look really, really bad. So I also found the pigmentation of this not very good. So it's not very opaque um, and it makes your teeth look horrible. So let's check this one out. So otherwise, like the color's kind of cool, but it's a warning signal that's gonna make your teeth look bad. See that dryness? It's just, ugh. It's not good. And that's the thing, these sort of moussey matte lipsticks, they can cling to dry patches that 
uneven dry patches. So this is the color, looks kind of cool. Let's zoom in. All right, so you can see that it makes my teeth look really yellow and look how dry my lips look. Can you see that it's just sort of clings to dry patches? Um, it's not nice. So that one I, is probably the worst performing one. Uh, look at my teeth. Yuck. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, I'll apply my favorite one because this one's beautiful. So this one is Candy Venom. You can see also because they're quite moussey and dry formula, they skip on the lips really easily. So they do require either a lip brush or a lip liner. They're not a cream, they're not a creamy lipstick that just like applies really easily. There's a bit of effort involved. All right, so I haven't actually touched this up. I'll show you what I mean by it skipping. Doesn't really, it's not creamy enough to leave a nice clean line. It sort of skips and is weird. This one at least doesn't emphasize dry texture. It doesn't make my teeth look yellow. Uh, this is a beautiful color, but you do need to go in and sort of like smudge the line to make it work. And most lipsticks, I, if I have to do that, I don't think they're worth the hassle. But I really do love this color and I think um, this is the one that I sort of can make, I can deal with the formula issues because I really love the effect it, it gives on the lips. I think it's a really beautiful, sort of unique, vibrant, uh, bold pink. But I think the problem with these lipsticks for me is just comes down to the formula. I think the shades are really, really great, except for that, that orangey yellow weird color. Um, some of the shades are quite unique. They're not shades that everyone will go for, but I think that they are generally very flattering and sort of unique shades as well. The green's quite flattering. The navy kind of blue is quite flattering. But I think for me, the problem comes down to the formula. They're very moussey and they remind me a lot of um, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse that used to be in the tub. So it's quite a light um, feeling formula that has a sort of matte finish, but it's quite drying on the lips and it's, it's not very creamy. So it doesn't hydrate the lips. It just almost makes your lips feel a little bit powdery and dry. Um, like I showed with that nude, they can kind of gather, um, as you're just talking because that powdery sort of formula, I don't know. It, it, I don't know how to describe it. It's just not very flattering. Um, it's not very hydrating. It's not very um, smooth looking. Um, and it's not long wearing at all. I do find that these lipsticks definitely start wearing off uh, quite easily. Uh, this pink one might be a slight exception because um, I think it, it does stain a little bit. So when it starts to wear off, it still looks quite vibrant. But the other shades that I've tried, like for example, I wore the green one day and um, I was sipping a coffee and I checked the mirror and I'm like, oh, my lips aren't, aren't actually green. They're a weird mix between nude and green and then they just look moldy and gross. So the colors when they're first applied and they're very bold and you've had to get the lip liner out or the lip brush because they sort of um, skip on the lip line. Um, they they can look really awesome. They'll look good in photos. They'll look good on camera. But practically, these just don't wear well. They don't look kind of good on the lips after they've sort of settled down. Um, and they're definitely not the type of formula that grips to your lips and um, stays looking quite bold for a long time. I find that once you've uh, talked for a bit or, um, you know, had a drink or something, they do wear off quite patchy. They look kind of dry on the lips. Um, and they're just not very flattering. So unfortunately, I think the best thing about this collection is the color range. I think the color range minus the orange is a really cool color range. Um, it's quite unique. It will work on a lot of types of like skin tones. Um, and there are some shades in here like, you know, dark true browns that are harder to get and are less common shades. That green's a less common shade. But I have to say that these are nowhere near in my top 10 lipstick formulas, probably not even my top 20 lipstick formulas. Um, and when it comes to matte lipsticks, I almost expect that they're going to last well. Um, I think that matte lipsticks kind of 
became very popular because not only do people like the look of matte lips, but you know that it comes with uh, longevity. Usually matte lipsticks last a long time. For me, the MAC matte lipsticks, I put them on and I know that they're going to look good for hours and hours. These let me down more often than not. I also think that because they don't last well on the lips and because they aren't as comfortable as I would like them to be, um, I don't think that they're worth the money, especially for the amount of product you get. Um, 1.7 grams of product for in Australia, 28 bucks is a very poor um, cost per gram. There are much worse value lipsticks on the market like the Hourglass Confession lipsticks, but I can guarantee you that I'd much prefer to wear those over these any day of the week. Those aren't matte, those are like a cream formula, but they outlast these and look flawless on the lips for like eight hours. These look flawless, flawless on the lips for like 30 minutes. So um, I do believe in quality over quantity, but I don't think that the quality is here. The color choices are awesome, but I just don't reach for these lipsticks. The only one I reach for is this one shade because um, I don't have many uh, vibrant pinks that I find this flattering. Um, but yeah. So the only time I would recommend these to people is if you found a particular shade that you can't dupe elsewhere, you really love the shade um, and you wanted to buy it, then buy it. But I wouldn't, if I saw like the, some of the reds in here are really beautiful shades. Um, I would just prefer to go to another brand that I know the, the quality is better um, over these ones. So if you can dupe these with other formulas, do that because um, I do find the formula very disappointing in these, which is a shame. And whatever you do, don't buy the orange one because it makes your teeth look like corn um, and it is very drying, looks very dry on the lips. So yeah. So yeah, for me, these are very disappointing. Um, I sort of expected more from Fenty Beauty, um, but yeah, it is what it is. So pink one's great though. Anyway, sorry that was a bit of a bummer and it was also not a very, I felt like I was rambling a lot because it's harder to tell people why you're indifferent about something or not so obsessed with something. Um, it's much easier to say I love this because the color's great and the formula's this and it lasts for eight hours and it smells good and it's this and that. When it comes to things where you're like, okay, it's like a weird moussey formula that sort of skips. Some of them make your lips look dry, some of them wear off weird, but the colors are great. It's a, it's harder to kind of get that out. So, but that is the crux of it. I don't love the formula, but the colors can be quite nice. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go because that was enough rambling. Um, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.